For the past two months, the turf on the A&M golf course has slowly been dying, and it's not due to a lack of rainfall. It's because plans are currently underway to renovate the course. There's been a golf course here on this side at the front door of our university for well over 60 years, and uh, it's time to upgrade that. Now that the course is privatized and run by Sterling Golf Management, renovations are possible. The upgrades will include 18 newly designed holes, an extended driving range, a new irrigation system, and three additional holes for research purposes, making the course attractive for numerous reasons. If you want to find out about how to grow grass and, and, and manage golf courses and, and, and fairways and greens and all those type of things, irrigation, Texas A&M is where it's going to be. The designers say that even though the 18-hole course may look challenging, even beginners like me will be able to find success on the greenways. Open, open fronts to the greens, wide fairways, very playable, uh, but something that you don't see a whole lot of in Texas. A quality that university officials say will bring in golfers from around the country. Golfers will travel if they find that they have a course that's a unique experience for them. The renovations will be completed in three phases. The 18 holes and driving range will be finished first. Their hope is to have the course back up and running in time to tee off before the first 2013 home football game. In College Station, Lauren Holman reporting.